If you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the easiest way to make a podcast. Let me explain. It's free. There's creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. Anchor will distribute your podcast for you so you can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many, many more. You can make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. It's everything you need to make a podcast in one place. Download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm today to get started. Hello, self-developers, and welcome to the Patrick Kelly Podcast for Self-Development, where I will be reviewing all of the books on self-development that can change your life for the better this year and years to come. It is said that if we keep on doing what we always did, we will keep on getting what we always got. In other words, to change our output, we first have to change our input. Today is August 14th. 2022 and this is episode 33 of season two and today we'll be reviewing the audible book failing forward turning mistakes into stepping stones for success by john c maxwell this audible book will teach you that failure is not fatal as long as you fail forward chapter one what makes the difference between people who achieve and people who are average. The difference between average people and achieving people is their perception of and their response to failure. Failure is far more common than success. Poverty is much more prevalent than wealth. Disappointment is more normal than arrival. The question will always be whether you will fail forward or backward. Step one into failing forward is to realize that there is one major difference between average people and achieving people. Achieving people will always fail forward. Chapter two. Get a new definition of failure and success. One of the greatest problems people have with failure is that they are too quick to judge isolated situations in their lives and label them as failures. Instead, they need to keep the bigger picture in mind. If you can change your perspective on failure, it will help you to persevere and ultimately achieve your desire. Let us look at the seven things that failure is not. Number one, people think that failure is avoidable. It's not. If you are a human being, you're going to make mistakes. Number two, people think that failure is an event. It's not. Failure is a process. Number three, People think that failure is objective. It's not. You are the only person who can label what you do a failure. Number four, people think that failure is the enemy. It's not. It takes adversity to create success. Number five, people think that failure is irreversible. It's not. Mistakes are not irreversible. Problems come when you see only the problem and not the big picture. Number six, People think that failure is a stigma. It's not. Mistakes are not permanent markers. Number seven, people think that failure is final. It's not. You must learn to fail forward and keep going. Failure is the price we pay to achieve success. Chapter three. If you failed, are you a failure? Tell yourself that I am not a failure. I only failed at doing something. Just because you failed at doing something does not make you a failure. Seven abilities achievers possess that enable them to fail and not take it personally and keep moving forward. Number one, achievers reject rejection. Take responsibility for your actions, but don't take failure personally. Number two, achievers see failure as temporary. It is just a setback for now. Number three, achievers see failures as isolated incidents. Failure is momentary and not forever. Number four, achievers keep expectations realistic. See things as they are. Number five, achievers focus on strengths. Focus on what you can do and not on what you can't do. 
Number six, achievers vary approaches to achievement and also to problems. Number seven, achievers bounce back. Life is a series of outcomes. Chapter four. You're too old to cry, but it hurts too much to laugh. We cannot get paralyzed over doubts and fears because we fear failure. If we do fail in the process of trying, find out what you did wrong and try again. Lessons learned and changes made. Do not let procrastination get in your way of following through to your goals. Every day, take a step towards what must be accomplished. Procrastination can steal a person's time, productivity, and potential. Procrastination is too high a price to pay for fear of failure. A life spent in making mistakes is not only more honorable, but more useful than a life spent doing nothing. Take action and reduce your fear. Closing thoughts. On a scale of one to five, I would give this all book a fantastic five for providing many ways on how to fail forward and turn mistakes into stepping stones towards success. To find out more about this Audible book, go to www.audible.com and download this Audible book or go to www.johnmaxwell.com to find out more information and other books written by the author. Remember to subscribe to this podcast on your favorite podcast platform so you do not miss an episode. And also remember to please share this episode via text or email with friends and family and other people that you care about. Follow me on Twitter at Kelly Podcasts or Instagram at Patrick Kelly underscore podcast. For more episodes of the Patrick Kelly Podcast for self-development, go to www.thepatrickkellypodcast.com. If you'd like to donate a dollar or more to the support of this podcast, click the donate button at www.thepatrickkellypodcast.com or go to dollar sign Patrick Kelly Podcast on Catch App and I'll be sure to thank you on the next episode. This is the end of this podcast for today. Tune in next week, Sunday, for the next episode and the next Audible book of over 300 books that I'll be reviewing on the Patrick Kelly podcast for self-development. If you enjoyed this podcast, take a moment to rate and review on Apple Podcasts. This really helps me out. Feel free to share this podcast with someone you care about. And remember, your life does not get better by chance. It gets better by change. Take care.